Okay, my name is Nate Goldschlag. I'm a member of Veterans for Peace. I'm Jewish and I was horrified by the Israeli invasion of Gaza. So I was motivated to write my first and only poem. It's called Gaza, O Gaza. I saw the picture today, the man from Gaza, holding his dead child in his arms, killed by Israeli bombs, sent by Jewish airmen, with no regard for Gaza lives. A free fire zone. Free fire, a license to kill. The bombs, the shells, Willie Peter, white phosphorus, raining down, burning the skin, the fire. The picture horrified me. As a Jew, it shamed me. Is this what the Zionist idealists had in mind? I doubt it. So many dead, so many wounded, so many women and children. Do Israelis even think about Palestinian children? When does a hundred to one killed become acceptable? When do Jews become so brainwashed? We are supposed to be moral, to support the underdog, the downtrodden, the oppressed, not be the tyrant, the oppressor, the occupier of lands not ours, the efficient killing machine, the owner of an outdoor concentration camp, Gaza. We came from the concentration camps where so many Jews died and suffered and we forgot. Instead, we learned all too well from the Nazis. The roadblocks, the ghettos, the killings, all too reminiscent. And if I say this, even as a Jew, I am labeled an anti-Semite. But I must speak out. I will speak out for that man in the picture, for the children, for the Palestinians ethnically cleansed, a term so clinical, cleansed, washed with soap, or kicked out of their towns. Deir Yassin, Google it. A wall in their backyard preventing them from going to their olive groves, killed, 100 to one, a slaughter. Unable to travel in their own lands, unable to get to hospitals, Rachel Corey bulldozed down to death. Tristan Anderson shot in the head with a tear gas canister. Critical condition. But these are the Americans we hear about. Many more unnamed Palestinians, thousands, like the man in the picture, his dead child, and all the other children of Gaza and of the West Bank. So I mourn for that man and his family their baby taken from them, their land stolen from them. And I mourn for the Jews who think this is all okay, who justify it with one thing or another and forget, forget the ghettos, Warsaw, and build their own ghettos, Gaza, the Wall, the West Bank. And now talk of removing Palestinians from Israel itself if they don't consent to the slaughter and the occupation. And I look at the Jews of Israel. Yes, there are many good people there, but so many who think Palestinians are vermin to be crushed and killed. And they go on year after year, war after war, slaughter after slaughter, and few say no more. So few say dismantle the settlements live in peace with our neighbors, so few. Where are the voices of peace?